What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, y'all, uh, yesterday I was watching uh, this interview. I was watching Comedy Hype. Comedy Hype is a YouTube channel that interviews a lot of comedians. The comedians come on to come onto the YouTube channel and they uh, talk about the origins of their careers and they talk about significant moments that occurred throughout their careers and where they are currently. Um, so on this particular video, Alex Thomas was the uh, the person that was being interviewed. A lot of people recognize Alex Thomas for being a, a comedian. Uh, he's, in the, he's an individual that's been in a lot of different music videos and, and skits and rap videos. Um, he has some very uh, good moments throughout his career. And he's also is, uh, a lot of people recognize him as the character Phil in the Jamie Foxx show. Uh, during the later seasons, Jamie had some friends named Mouse and Phil that were introduced and uh, Alex Thomas was Phil. Right. And so during the interview, the, the interviewer asks, he talks about the fact that Aerie Spears uh, was on Comedy Hype about seven or eight months prior to Alex Thomas's interview. And in that interview, Aerie Spears kind of threw a jab, uh, even though he said it wasn't a jab. It was. He threw a jab at Alex Thomas and some other comedians. And he was talking about how Alex Thomas and those other individuals are close friends with Eddie Murphy, right? They got a close friendship with Eddie Murphy and they go over they go over to Eddie's house doing fight night whenever it's a big mega fight because Eddie's a fight fan. And he said, you know, they go over there and he said, I could never do that. I can never do that because they go over there just to make Eddie laugh. They are they they act as his court jesters. They they be a jester for him. And I'm not going over there to make Eddie laugh and make Eddie ha ha. No, I'm not trying to do that. Basically, I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he was saying. Like and Eddie don't be giving him no opportunities. He ain't putting it, he ain't putting him in no movies. I ain't going over there to make. He said I ain't going over there to make Eddie laugh and so on and so forth. So when Alex Thomas was asked about the situation, Alex said, "You know what? That's called networking." That's called networking. Of course, if Eddie Murphy wanted me to come over to his spot and, and hang out with him, of course I'm going to do that. First of all, Eddie Murphy was a mega star during that time. Absolutely mega star. He was huge. Huge. He was killing the game. He was the biggest comedian in the game. A lot of people looked up to Eddie, as Alex Thomas said he did. So he like, of course, you know, I'm going to go over there with, uh, and, and go hang out with Eddie Murphy and, and talk with him and pick his brain. Who wouldn't do that, right? But he was like, you know, people say, oh, he ain't put you on your TV. He ain't put me in this, this TV show or this movie. But they don't know I was writing on a lot of different TV shows or different movies that Eddie Murphy was involved in. Or Eddie Murphy uh, allowed Eddie Murphy uh, granted him opportunities. Hanging out with Eddie Murphy granted him opportunities to write on other different shows and, you know, expand his brand in many different ways. And he like, you know, he, just, he was basically talking about how Aries is a is an upset person and he's a he's a person that is very seems to be very angry very upset person and i noticed that for a while right and i just want to talk about this because aries always to me rubbed me as a person who always thought he was too cool for school you know those people that's so anti everything they think they above everything they think they're too good for this too good for that and i never do that i never do that the type that always think they keeping it real and keeping it a thousand all the time by shunning all different type of opportunities and acting like they're too good for this and too good for that and then claiming how they so real and attaching themselves to being attaching themselves to the streets so much and turning everything down acting like they're too cool in in the act of being real that, that's just the weakest that's just the fakest stuff ever to me like be yourself brother ain't nothing there's nothing wrong with networking and working with people at all you know what i mean you speaking on all oh, they ain't in tv shows and all of that but you don't know what you don't know what opportunities could lead from uh could have led could have occurred from him hanging out with Eddie and, and networking with, with Eddie. There's nothing wrong with that. But Aries always seemed like a bitter person to me. He always seemed like that. Like he was never happy with what was going on at all. No matter what point he was in his career, he always got to talk about how real he was and he always got to be too cool for school and too anti this and too anti that and always throwing other, other comedians under the bus whenever he could get it. And to me, that speaks on... Um, I guess it speaks on why people said Aries may have fell off during his time period, right? Because we all recognize that Aries was a special talent. Aries was a special talent. We saw him killing the game on Mad TV. He was he was cold with the impression game. We seen some of his stand ups. You know, even some people say, even though some people say he do the same set over and over again, I always thought that Aries was a talented guy. But I think that a lot of opportunities may have 
left him due to the fact that he's his personality he was so he was not good to be, he was not fun to be around i don't think people like being around him and when people don't like being around you they don't like your energy a lot of doors of opportunity going to close on you unfortunately right i'm not saying you have to be the, the the biggest sweetheart ever or nothing like that but at least be warm like cool to be around like people don't want to fool with him because his vibes are so off and he always think he doing stuff in the act of being real and trying to be you know, just always super, think he's too cool for school. He's so anti everything. I'm, I'm above that. I, I never do that. I never do this. All in the name of keeping it close to the streets and all of this. And then he go back to the hood. Them dudes can't do nothing for him. Can't give him no opportunities. All they could do, are oh, you a real dude? And then probably be laughing at him when he leave. So, and I always want to speak on the fact that I think people's energy, like your vibes, can affect a lot of things that's going on around you. Being this guy that's just negative to be around, don't want to be around. People don't, people, if you're a guy that people do not want to be around, I think it'll block a lot of your blessings and a lot of doors that could be open for you because you just think you too cool for this, too cool for that, and you above this and you too, this. you know, it's just people don't want to fool with that personality. You always throwing people under the bus every chance you get. You could be immensely talented and people are not going to. People are not going to want to work with you because you're a closed-minded individual and you always just... It, it, Aries always seemed like that to me. Always, Every time he in an interview, he's slighting somebody else. He always throwing people under the bus and talking about what this person don't do and what that person don't do and how he do it. Like, all oh, like, come on, fam. Let's, this is not cool. And I knew... I understood what Alex Thomas was talking about when he was saying it. It's like, yeah, Aries is a talented guy, but he always comes off as better. And I know a lot of individuals that's like that. They all, you know, they grew up in the hood, grew up in a lot of um, the same environments that I grew up in, right? But they think they always trying to keep it so street and be so real and so street. Like, that's not, that's doing you a disservice, brother. Because you thinking you being loyal to them dudes, them dudes laughing at you when you leave. They can't help you with anything. They not loyal to you. They can't come through. They don't come through for you when you need them. So you trying to attach yourself to this street rhetoric and to this street image and all in the name of keeping it street, you anti this and you so above this, so above that. You too cool for this, too cool for that. Turning off a lot of opportunities to help feed your family. Opportunities to help you expand. Never forget about the hood. Never forget about where you came from. Never forget about your origins or your people. But you just so anti everything. You too cool. Just super cool. Like, bro, if you don't relax, bro, and live life, you don't got to be walking around being angry 24-7. Always angry. Always upset. You got to gripe with this. You got to gripe with that. All the time. And that's what Aries seemed like to me. And Alex Thomas was speaking on that. Like, and maybe that's, maybe, you know, if Aries would have been a more, because I say this, right? People can say Kevin Hart is not the funniest comedian in the world. He's not, um, they say, oh, well, you know, his stand up isn't that great. Or some people may think he's corny, which is cool, right? Because I thought Kevin's first couple of uh, stand ups were very dope. I thought they were funny as ever when he was fresh off of Soul Plane and we didn't know he could do stand up comedy. Although recently I did think he, I do think he's fell off, right? Re as of recently, as far as like the comedy material in the, in the stand up game. However, I think a lot of the opportunities were been, have been afforded to Kevin Hart, not because he kissed, not because he kiss ass and all of that. Because I think a lot of people associate being successful. They think you always got to kiss ass and you got to be brown nose. Like, no, no. You could just be a, a cool, straight up, honest dude, a good dude that's good to be around and got good vibes and positive energy. And people going to look out for you and rock with you. So back to what I was saying with Kevin, even though Kevin standups ain't been the funniest, one thing a lot of people would say, they love working with Kevin. They think he's a pleasure to be around. Um, they think he's, um, they just, they, they have fun when he's around. They people feel good being around Kevin. He's a, is a very easy to work with guy. He's not hard to work with. He ain't, acting like he too this and he too cool for this and too cool for that. And like, he ain't one of them dudes trying to just attach himself to the street rhetoric, the street, this street mentality all the time. He ain't caught up in that. He's cool with being who he is and he's cool. He knows, understand who he is as a person. So it don't, uh, he not trying to be caught up in all these different, put himself in this box and that box. Like, no, nah, brother, like, no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, I'm never saying act against your integrity or, uh, go against your morals or your 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 code of ethics for money or fame or fortune. I would never ever do that at all. But at the same time, it's like don't act like you too 
too good for this, you too cool for this, and too cool for that, and you anti everything and blowing people under the bus all for the sake of, I'm real, I'm real, I'm a straight up dude, I'm a real dude, you straight up dude, okay, you're going to be real, look, you're going to be real out of opportunities very, very soon, very soon if you, if people had them type of, uh, people had that type of mentality, it's not good, and Kevin has been, Kevin Hart has been winning because people like being around him, they like his energy, they like his work ethic, they fool with him like, they just really, really vibe with them. And that's the thing, man. Um, and I think a lot of people think that, you know, in order to be successful, I'm not going to be no ass kissing all that. You ain't got to kiss no ass. I would never, ever in my life do that. I wasn't raised to do that. My parents don't do that. They ain't built like that. I ain't built like that. I ain't, uh, I'm not raising uh, my child to be like that or nothing. I'm no, none at all. My brothers, sisters, I'm not raising none of them. I'm not, you know, instilling that in them at all either. But it's a difference between being a brown nose and just being a person who is just good, to, fun to be around, and you got a positive energy, positive aura about yourself. When you got that, people feel that, and they want to help you. They want to fool with you. They want to extend opportunities to you at all the time. So all this closed-mindedness all the time. Now, I'm not saying do everything and do anything because I would never do anything and do everything. It's a lot of stuff I won't do. But it's like when stuff like it's just going to somebody, uh, going to somebody crib and it sounds like he feel like he mad. He ain't get the invite. And, and what you call it? Tried to, no, Aries Spears, I think, I think, did what you call it? Say he tried to uh, invite Aries over and Aries act like he was too big or whatever. Maybe Aries wanted to get the personal invite from Eddie and then he acted and he used the fact that I guess. I guess he used this whole thing about him not wanting to be a court just and all of that for him because he didn't get the personal invite. Maybe if he got a personal invite from Eddie to come over to uh to to come over to Eddie's house and he didn't have to get the invite through Alex Thomas or whatever, he didn't, he didn't want to be Alex Thomas's plus one. He wanted to get the personal invite. Maybe that was it. And then he tried to use the whole thing about I'm not gonna be his uh flunky, I'm not gonna be her not flunky or his uh jester and all that type of stuff, like yeah, it just sounds like just some some salty stuff, some salty hating stuff. And a lot of times, Erie has come off like that a lot. And people, a lot of executives and all of that, and, and not even just executives, other people that's involved in movies and other actors and all the other people. And, okay, take it out of the frame of Aerie Spears and acting, just in your regular life. If you're a person that's always acting like you just, you super high and mighty, everybody else beneath you and... You too good for this, and you too cool for that, and you too good for the people. Are like, okay, he he just too, he, nah, man, he's not gonna be open to doing this. He not gonna, nah, he's too too difficult to work with. Always is wishy washy type of personality. People don't got time to be trying to mix with all of that. Like, no, nobody wants to deal with that. If you're gonna be a straight up dude, be a straight up dude. But all this trying to be caught up and trying to always, I think Aries always trying to impress the dudes in the hood or the dudes from the block that he grew up with. Fam, you got to grow up. Grow up and get out of that. At the end of the day, them dudes from the hood not paying none of your bills. They're not making sure none of your kids get fed. They not, you know, making sure your mother is taken care of, your father. They not making sure your nieces and nephews is looked after. They not making sure none of that. They not making sure your, 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 your. Your, your car notice, I mean, your, your, they're, not, they're not buying you a car. They're not buying household utilities for your people, for your family. Stop trying to, <clears throat> trying to live and impress people that do not matter. Yes, you want to keep it. I'm not saying people in the hood don't matter. Don't get me wrong. For sure they do. But you, he's, I think he lived his whole life for the, or his whole career was based on doing stuff and his whole life is centered around being having the hood's approval for everything. Like, as a grown man, you got to cut that out. Like, you got to cut that out. And I think that that causes him to be flip at the mouth, even though we know a lot of comedians are flip at the mouth and they just talk crazy because they got jokes. But a lot of times they get flip at the mouth and Aries gets flipped at the mouth. And we seen how that worked out when he was on Corey Holcomb's 5150 show and do Zo was uh, hitting them with the elbows and all that. <laughs> And all of that, but yeah, man. Well, you a person that's just obnoxiously just not cool to be like. You just you just too so obnoxious to be around, and people don't like you. Just a negative person. Opportunities gonna close, and maybe that's why we haven't seen Aries in a lot of things because the word has gotten out that he's just not a good person to be around. It's not people don't like being around him. People don't like um, people don't like the the attitude that he that he presents. 
And in life, when people don't like the attitudes you present, a lot of stuff get pulled off the table, family, unfortunately. And I'm, it's very unfortunate that it's like that, but it's like that. People don't want to be around a person where they got to walk on eggshells or they feel like, oh my God, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Or, uh, you know, this person is just like, they just so, it's just, the vibe is just off and it's just uh, a, a lot of tension involved with this person, a lot of riffraff. And nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. And, um, yeah, and I, I spoke on those things because it's, it's a lot of other comedians like that, like, you know, and as funny as Cat Williams was, Cat was a person that was just so off the hinge, that was cussing dudes out left and right, that people was like, yo, we can't be fooling with that. If it, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it had nothing to do with the people, be the powers that beat and want Cat to win. Cat was winning for a long time. He was the lone black comedian that was getting all the big checks all the big opportunities in movies and films and all like he was getting all the stand up specials. He was the Kevin Hart before Kevin Hart. But I don't think it was because oh he don't want to kiss no. K one about cat trying to kiss didn't want to kiss ass. Cat was just acting a fool. A lot of places that he went and he rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because he wasn't fun to be around. And other people that was involved in cats um that was in cat's camp or that came up under cat. It was some other people that just, just said cat was just obnoxious like he was just too much eventually he eventually became too much a young lady spoke on cat like that but yeah man in life listen i, I always believed in just being true to yourself being true to your your morals your code of ethics but at the same time being a person who it is um being a person that people when people leave they remember like oh man i feel good being around that person I feel good being around him. He's a cool guy. He's a person that um is a uh, he's just he's fun to be around. Um he's not a person who makes everything uneasy. He's a person that uh, lightens up the room, bright like just a person that lighten up the mood, brighten the uh, brighten the mood, a person that's just like a uh what's the word I'm looking for? A person that's just a a easy going person, not a uh, not a a person to just think they too good for this and too good for that. Nah, don't be a dude that's too cool for school. It's just like, it's just not, it's just not equal success at all. Unless you just like a person that's just like in a sports a sports arena and your cockiness leads to your brand marketing or whatever like that. But nah, it's just, yeah, it's not a good look. And to me, I promise y'all, I think a lot of airy stuff didn't blow, even though a lot of people say he do the same set set over and over again or whatever. But um, I think Aries didn't get to where he wanted to be because people just didn't fool with how he acts. He's just a bitter person. Being bitter? Come on, fam. Nobody wants to be around a bitter, a bitter dude all the time. Like, who want to be around that energy? You don't want to be around, around it? I don't want to be around it. And that's just how it go. So... I think it's just in life, man. Be a positive person. Be an uplifting person. Be a person that's fun to be around. Be a person that's um just got good energy, man. It's just being genuine. I and I think this happens genuinely. Like, be a person that um and I think the same with this with Aries. Like, it's like it's cliche. It's very cheesy to say treat others how you want to be treated. Cause if Aries is getting clowned like that or then thrown under the bus and all of that, he'd be ready to fight. He wouldn't want nobody saying nothing about, like that about him. So in life, for real, like, we know what your grandma and your mama taught you. Treat other people like you want to be treated. Like, don't be an ass to people. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to throw jazz at everybody just to do it all for the sake of getting a joke in. Everything, every laugh ain't funny. Like, every, nah, mm-mm. You ain't too cool for everything. And stop trying to impress people that don't, that don't matter. So I'm trying to impress people that all oh, the hood, the hood, they'll love me if I do this. They'll love me if I did that. They'll show me love if I do that. Man, damn them. Like, you got to do out here. You got to go out here and um, take care of your family. And you can get back to the hood. You can come back and, and show support for them and help them, help them with need be and all of that. And try to help poor brothers out of the hood for sure. But 
all of that trying to do everything to oppress them and just to be so you can stand outside and people clap when you come around for high fives and all that, man, get the hell up out of here. That's what Aries was looking for with, with a lot of stuff he be doing. He looking for high fives and praises when he go back to his hood. And that's the problem with a lot of other dudes, looking for high fives and praises and and all the type of shout outs on Instagram and all that. Like, man, get the hell up out of here, man. All that don't matter. And that's for real, man. Machiavelli Mills TV. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, share this video. Tell everybody to follow this channel. I appreciate the support, y'all. I love y'all. Peace.